interface to be able to use voice technology. Yeah, so, so vo again, voice is that natural interface. So mm -hmm. but the best way to look at on a macro is anything that, that, that needs some bit of direction, maybe some additional information, potentially some pacing and, and the ability to respond back with either, hey, I got it, a confirmation acknowledgement, or here's a quantity or whatever else, voice could be a great fit for. It doesn't mean it will be, but it could be. So then you start paring that down. And and really what caught fire uh, several years ago, a couple of decades ago, was, is, is was in supply chain where workers, if you imagine, you know, walking around the warehouse floor, uh, picking pieces or cases, putting them into a, a pallet or into, into boxes, whatever it may be, um, walking that worker through. So we use the same system, the same warehousing system that's out there today that would run a scanner or print out paper or whatever else. And we take that and we then extrapolate that into a, a headset that basically speaks to the user and says, go to aisle 15, pick up three cans of beans or whatever it is. They grab it, say yeah. they've got it, or they say the quantity or a check digit. There's all kinds of nuances within there. And then we send that message back to the host. And so it really is, it's, it's a workflow solution that's out on the edge that allows the worker to be you know, more efficient, more, more productive, or I mean, sorry, more accurate because they're, they're looking at the work. Their hands are free, their eyes are free. Mm -hmm. They're not laying something down, looking away, coming back, all those kinds of, of things that happen that, that eat away at your, at your productivity or your margins in a warehouse. And also it's safe. I mean, you're not trying to drive a forklift and, and looking at screens or whatever else. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think that piece that I just touched on a minute ago, that worker satisfaction piece. I mean, a satisfied worker is just going to do a better job and it's, you know, it's, it's better, right? From a human perspective, we all want to be yeah. better, but at the same time, it just helps, helps all that. So really that's where voices primarily fit in. Now we're taking it lots of other areas, uh, lots of other workflows outside the four walls, outside of distribution, but, um, but that's really been the bread and butter of the last couple of decades. And it's, it's really been a, uh, an amazing implementation when done right. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that that efficiency gain is is certainly there when you put voice into play, because uh, like I mentioned, I've, I've used it in the past as well. And, you know, I think it, you touched on two like major points there. I think that always stands out to me when you're looking at, you know, especially like in a, a picking application or, a, you know, high velocity picking application where, you know, if you have a handheld, right, like, like you said, like you got to place it down, right? Or you got to be looking at the screen or you got to, you know, all that stuff. Whereas voice, you can truly be like hands free with it um, and be able to do what you need to do and recall information if you need it and be able to get to that product to do that. And, and from a safety standpoint, point too which you've touched on there which i think is really important is you know if you're on a an order picker or, or a forklift or whatever the case may be picking those orders then you know you're not looking at that screen you're not getting distracted you know it's the same same as driving a vehicle and looking at your cell phone right it's the same That's exact right. thing so so you avoid that and you're able to really give that worker a better experience overall 